mDaemon users can easily create custom email signatures in mDaemon Webmail. And in this brief lesson, I'm going to show you how. First, in the mDaemon Webmail interface, we'll go over here to the Options menu with the gear icon. And then over here on the left-hand side, we'll click on the Compose menu. Scroll down toward the bottom and use the options on the right-hand side to create a new email signature. Currently, if we look in the drop-down menu, we have one signature, which is called the default signature. So we're going to scroll down and create a new default signature. You can customize your signature by applying text and HTML formatting. For example, I can convert this URL to a hyperlink. And you have other tools available, such as bulleted lists, left-right justification, and text color formatting, among others. And then we click on Apply Changes. So now if we scroll up slightly, we have our updated default signature, but we can also create additional signatures. For example, I'll click on the new button to create another email signature, and I'm going to call this one training. I'll enter my signature with formatting below, and once again, I can make text elements bold. I can change the color of the font used, or I can make text italics or anything else I'd like to do. And then we click on save again. And now at this time, I have two signatures. I've got my default signature, and I've got my training signature. So when composing an email message in mDaemon Webmail, I can choose which one of these signatures I would like to use. And in addition to these signatures that we've created on the right-hand side, you can also specify which signatures you'd like to use when replying to or forwarding email messages. So we'll go back over here on the left-hand side. Under this section, Apply Signatures. We can choose which default signature we want to use for replying and forwarding. These settings will take precedence over the default signature that we assigned on the right-hand side. So we'll check this box, Enable Replying and Forwarding Signatures. And then when you're replying to a message, you can choose which one of these you'd like to use. You can use the deferred setting, in other words, use the settings specified below, no signature, or either of the signatures that we've just created. For example, I'm going to assign my default signature for replies. And let's say for my forwarding signature, I'd like to apply my training signature as shown here. And then when finished, we can simply exit out of the screen. So now when composing an email message, I can go to the Advanced Options menu as shown here, and I can specify which signature I'd like to use. And if I don't specify which signature to use here, then the default signature will be used. Thank you.